get your crafty items ready because we're going to be making a beautiful butterfly spring piece. Okay, so I'm starting off with this box that I brought from the works. It's a wooden box that I have previously used in a project before, so it has been spray painted gold. First things first, I'm going to apply a little bit of hot glue to the bottom here because I don't want an opening for this project. Next, I'm taking the dictionary and I'm going to look up butterfly. Then I'm going to just place it aside for now. Then I'm going to take a page out from the B section. Then I'm going to take my Mod Podge and apply a thin layer here and then stick our dictionary page inside. I've just ripped out another page from the B section in the dictionary to cover the sides here and here. While the mud pudge is still wet, I'm going to take some fine white glitter and sprinkle a little bit on just to make it look really magical. This is just something I love doing. If you are one of my subscribers and you watch my videos frequently, you will know that this is something I just love doing. Once you've finished your decoupage, we're going to take a little bit of foam brick and add it to the bottom inside here. I've cut my foam brick down to quite a small size, so I kept measuring and just cutting a little bit more off until I was satisfied. And now I'm going to apply a little bit of hot glue here and then stick it down in the centre. I'm going to start building up the inside and I'm taking some twigs from the garden and this is going to be your main structure really. Alright so once you've finished poking in your little twigs into the foam block you will have something that looks like this. I'm going to try and cover the whole foam brick and just place it in between the twigs. You can have some coming out, I think that that's quite a nice look. Makes it look a little bit more wild and natural. Now we've finished the main structure, we're going to start decorating which is the really exciting part and I'm taking these butterfly papers that I brought from the works and you can just print these off the internet, any butterfly designs and sizes. I'm going to start with some of the smallest ones. Do you remember the little strip of butterfly that we cut out from the dictionary? This is where I'm going to place it with some hot glue. some life I'm taking some baby's breath and poking that inside the moss. Then I'm going to take some flower heads off here and this I brought from 
the wedding section in Hobbycraft. To add a tiny amount of colour, I've just gone ahead and put some berries in the corner there and then I'm going to stick two up here. I've also taken some green curly moss and added some to the bed of the forest and up here alongside the twigs. After you've put in your berries and your green curly moss, it should look something like this. I think it makes it look a lot more like a natural forest or a jungle and it also adds life to the piece and that's what we want because it is a spring decor piece. What do you all think of it? Let me know in the comments. I think it's quite different. I did enjoy making it and I really do like it. I think it reminds me of something I would have made at uni because I did do fine art. I just really have enjoyed working with all of these kinds of mediums. I think it's quite original, quite unique and just really creative. If you do enjoy these type of crafts or if this has given you any sort of inspiration, please do leave me a thumbs up. Make sure you do click that subscribe button if you aren't already part of our crafty family and don't forget to hit the notification bell that way you won't miss any videos that come out. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next DIY.